Good morning, good morning, everybody. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wow, did we have a great time in the Lord this weekend. The three days of glory was just that, glorious. So, packed house, tremendous crowds. People came from 13 different states. That, that includes Indiana. And we met some of the finest people and one, wonderful people from all over America. And let me just say, if they're, a, if they're a sampling of all of you, all of you that are YouTube subscribers and followers on live stream or blog talk radio or Roku satellite television through the new live stream channel or whatever, whoever, the, if these people represent you all, then you are the greatest assembly of saints on the <laughs> that you could ever imagine. God's got a great church, doesn't he? It's, a, it's, it's blessed. Because the Lord Jesus Christ has purchased us with his own blood. And because of that, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ filled with the love of God. And we're looking forward to the second coming of the Lord. We're looking for him to come come and get the bride. Just come on and get the bride. We're ready. But we know we have a lot of work to do. We know we've got a lot of people that still aren't saved. And there's some more Bible prophecy that's in the process of being fulfilled. And so as we enter into this four blood moon cycle... Uh, we're going to watch very closely to what is about to happen. Now, let me read to you. Let's go to, if you've got a King James Version of the Bible, get a cup of coffee or tea or grapefruit juice, or, and let's read from the Word of the Lord. I'm reading out a King James Version Bible, 2 Peter chapter 2. Excuse me, 2 Peter chapter 1. Let's go there. Mm. 2 Peter chapter 1. Simon Peter a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now grace and peace be multiplied unto you all through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Now whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, great and precious promises, folks, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in this world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. <clears throat> For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly <clears throat> into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them and be established in the present truth. Yea, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle, to stir you up, stir you up by putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle, even as our Lord Jesus Christ has showed me. Moreover, I will endeavor that ye may be able, after my de deceased, to have these things always. In remembrance, for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his 
majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, mm -mm, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. This is Second Peter chapter 1. Powerful, powerful, powerful chapter because Peter, who is the apostle of the Lord, of course the one that walked on the water, with Jesus and and cut off the Roman soldier's ear when they were trying to apprehend Christ, yet Jesus healed the Roman soldier's head by putting his ear back on and healing it. I mean, this same Peter who witnessed all these fish that were caught when Jesus told him to go back out a second time into the into the Sea of Galilee, this same Peter heard the voice of God saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. This is the same Peter, who ran to the tomb with John and went in and saw that there, the tomb was empty. This same Peter, uh, who may have denied the Lord three times before the cock crowed twice that morning, still is the same Peter that stood on the day of Pentecost after the Holy Ghost fell in the upper room and prophesied that this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. I'm here to tell you right now, that Peter understood end-time prophecy. He listened closely to Jesus' words in Matthew 24 and in Mark 13 and in Luke 21. And as he tells you here, this prophecy is so important. He says in verse 19, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day of dawn, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. And that day star is Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ if you're not saved. And if you are saved, keep looking at Bible prophecy as it's pointing toward the coming of the Lord. And we want to be ready. And there's a lot going on. I'll be right back with some current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. And of course, the powerful Word of God. Don't miss today's show. It's from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. Our broadcast, our ministry will be sharing with you the current world events and the Bible prophecies that are related to the times we live in. God bless you, and I'll see you a little bit later this afternoon at 12 noon Eastern at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.